Titus is a one year, two month old French Bulldog. He's 20 pounds, so he's just about full grown. French Bulldogs are a small domesticated breed of dogs, so they're suitable for just about any household, but they don't do well in extreme heat or cold because they have short faces. If you look at him from the side, you can see that his snout doesn't come all the way out like a German Shepherd or maybe even a Doberman. His face is super flat. Another fun fact about French Bulldogs is that they only bark to alert. So while other breeds may bark at any passerby or any bird just sitting in the window, Titus will only bark to let me know when something is actually going wrong. If he did bark all the time, we'd be fighting a lot. <laughs> According to the American Veterinary Medical Association, the sensitive period for French Bulldogs and all dogs is between 3 and 14 weeks old, which is when they recommend that they should be socialized. So the question that I decided to answer for this project is what would happen if my animal, the French Bulldog, was exposed to an excessive amount of cadmium. Now, cadmium is found in a lot of pet food brands. However, dogs can only tolerate 10 milligrams of cadmium per kilogram of dog weight. If the animal is exposed to too much cadmium, they will start to display renal tubular dysfunction, which will show symptoms such as vomiting and diarrhea. This image contains the French Bulldog's Umwelt, a description of all of their sensory systems. This includes, but is not limited to, his sensitive but selective hearing devices and his little sniffer too. Now it's time for the scientific question. My question is, why do French Bulldogs display frenetic random activity periods, FRAPs, also known as the zoomies? Now, my hypothesis is that French Bulldogs display the zoomies, or FRAPs, when in exciting situations, such as when their owner comes home after a long day or during playtime. It is a way to relieve built-up energy. This image contains the ethogram of a French Bulldog, a list of all of their common behaviors such as sleeping, sitting, eating, running, and barking. With this ethogram, I can document which of the listed behaviors Titus displays at different times of the day and or what stimulates them. We will then be able to determine what times of the day or events are most likely associated with FRAPS. We will use focal sampling to observe as it involves recording the information of a single individual of a particular group for a specified amount of time. This type of sampling technique is good for studying specific behavior patterns, which in this case is the zoomies. In addition, to enhance our study, we can ask different French Bulldog owners if their furry friends display similar behaviors in response to the same stimuli. One of you are probably asking which of Tim Bergen's four questions is my hypothesis associated with. Now, my hypothesis associates with the causation or mechanism question. I hypothesize that zoomies occur when dogs feel the need to release built-up energy, hence why it seems to come out in sudden bursts. This can range from nervous or stressful energy to excitement. In dogs, the adrenal gland releases large amounts of adrenaline when excited or cortisol when stressed. 